This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. This is video 7 in our series of videos on solving equations with parentheses. So let's try this one. You could do it on your own first and then come back and see how you did. All right, so what we need to do is simplify each side. So on the left hand side here, we're going to have to distribute our 4. So we have 4 times 2x, that is 8x. And then 4 times negative 3, or you could think of it as minus 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then I've got this minus 5x. And on the right hand side, we're going to do the distributive property as well, multiplying 3 times x, which is 3x and then minus 3 times 4, that's 12. And then we want to simplify each side. The right hand simplified, but on the left hand side we have an 8x and a minus 5x for like terms, so that's a 3x minus 12 equals 3x minus 12. And right here we can see that this is an identity. It has the same exact thing on each side. That means regardless of what we put in for x, we'll have a true equation. So the solution, not writing very well here, you could write all real numbers, if we're talking about real numbers, which usually you could put that in a solution set, all real numbers. There's all sorts of different ways to write it. Some people write it like that. That's another way. So all of these are ways of writing the answer and it's an identity. All right, now you may wonder, well, how, how do I know for sure it's an identity? One way to do it is just go ahead and put any number in for x and see if we get a true the same number on each side when we simplify it and then put another number in it for x and see if that happens. If it happens twice, well you've certainly found, you know, just randomly two numbers are going to work. Looks pretty good that all real numbers is probably correct. So let's do that. All right, so pick any number you want for x. Plug it in for x on the left hand side, simplify it plug it on the right hand side and simplify it. Make sure you get the same number on each side. Okay, so I imagine, you know, there's, you know, thousands of possibilities somebody might try. I'm going to try an easy number like, you know, I could try 0 or I could try 1 or I could try 2. You know, those are pretty numbers, pretty easy numbers to plug in. I could plug in 10. It's really up to you. So how about if I just plug in um, 0? That's a really easy number to plug in. Okay, so I'm going to plug in 0 for x. And I'm going to do the left hand side. So in this parentheses, I'm going to end up with 0 minus 3, which is just negative 3. And minus 5 times 0 is just 0. So this just becomes negative 12 minus 0 or negative 12. Not showing every single step here because, you know, hopefully you're okay with that, not writing negative 12 minus 0, but you could do that as well. Now over here, we're going to put in 0 for x. And I'm going to get 3 times, well, 0 minus 4 is negative 4, and I do get negative 12. So it certainly checked when I plugged in x equals 0. Let's just plug in another number. So we'll take the same equation, 4 times 2x minus 3 minus 5x and 3 times x minus 4. And let's go ahead and just plug any other, any other number in. How about, uh, let's check, how about x equals, uh, I don't know, how about 4? How's that? So we will plug in 4 for x. And we'll just simplify this left-hand side. So that's 8 minus 3 
in parentheses, and 5 minus 4 is going to be 20. That gives us 4 times 5 minus 20. So that will give me 20 minus 20, which is 0. So on the left-hand side, I ended up getting 0. Okay, let's see what happens on the right-hand side. I'm putting in 4 for x, right? Now, I did this at random, you know. Um, I didn't know that this was going to be 0, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, do you get the same number on each side? No matter what number you put in, and actually you will. So, you might have tried x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 1 half, x equals negative 9. Up to you, there's infinitely many possibilities to try. So, um, that looks like our solution up here was correct, all real numbers. And usually in books they don't check it, but you can always check to make sure you got an identity just by trying a couple numbers in there. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.